Hello chums, Robert Ross here, comedy historian in Comedy Cottage with the daily comedy film with love from us to you. Hope you're okay and well on this gorgeous Friday. Now, uh, last night, I hope you caught the uh, Tony Slattery documentary, What's the Matter with Tony Slattery on BBC Two, a beautiful Horizon film by uh, director Claire Richards. Uh, if you didn't see it, uh, it's on iPlayer for uh, I think 29 days, a whole month. So we'll put the link there. Um, it's a raw, uh, touching, beautiful watch. Um, so please, uh, if you want to know what's happened to Tony for the last uh, 20 years or so, watch the documentary. It's uh, basically a film of love uh, between Tony Slattery and his longtime partner, Mark Hutchinson, and they're both very dear friends of mine. And I've been very privileged and honoured to work with Tony for the last two years uh, on the road, touring around the country, playing the Edinburgh Fringe. Um, so please watch the film. And once this blows over, we will be back. Um, we played our last films, uh, sorry, our last shows rather on March the 1st at the Museum of Comedy. We did two shows there and both Tony and Mark came to my very, very last show uh, before the lockdown on March the 15th. So we've got plenty of plans. Um, so if you are a venue and you're going to be lighting up your lights again, give us a call. Uh, Tony and myself will come to your venue and give you a show you'll never forget. I can promise you. Anyway, please do yourself a favour, watch the film and uh, and please take something positive and good from it. Uh, it's made with love and compassion. So that's What's the Matter with Tony Slattery on the BBC iPlayer. Thank you. Lovely. Right. Now, what else? Ah, Friday, of course. Friday night is Horror Night. And that's why I'm here with this glorious poster. Oh, isn't it beautiful? You can fish your eyes. I'll get out a shot. Um, I love, I love, love, love this film. Um, made in England in 1982. And it stars John Carradine there, of course, who lets the side down a bit because the other three are Gemini ghouls. Uh, they all have their birthdays this coming week. And I'm a Gemini too because my birthday's on Sunday, in case you haven't realised. Every present gratefully received. Uh, but Vincent Price, Peter Cushion and Christopher Lee are all Gemini babies and uh, went into the same ghoulish profession, of course, to make us uh, shiver with delight on screen. Um, I love them, love them all, love them all. Um, uh, tonight, uh, Talking Pictures TV pick, um, they're doing work in one there they're resurrecting the glorious old um, horror double bill and tonight from 10 o'clock there's a Sir Christopher Lee double bill on Talking Pictures TV two glorious collections from the Hammer archives uh, first of all uh, to the devil a daughter based on the Dennis Wheatley uh, novel and after that uh, probably my favorite Christopher Lee performance of all time when he plays Rasputin the mad monk my gosh those eyes could hypnotise you from 50 years ago. That's a real treat. So from 10 o'clock tonight, Talking Pictures TV, a double bill of horror starring Sir Christopher Lee. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And finally today, a little callback to yesterday's message from comedy chum, gorgeous George Layton, uh, who reminded me again of my passion for all things Ain't Enough Hot Mum. Now, I was very remiss because yesterday um, was the anniversary of the birth of my dear pal, Christopher Mitchell, uh, born 21st of May. Um, and uh, as you probably know, uh, long-term uh, followers of these films, I've got quite a lot of uh, the archive that Chris happily... Um, liberated, shall we say, <laughs> from the uh, from the set of Ain't Off Hot Mum. Uh, amongst them, this prized possession, which is an old clapperboard from the film. There we go. That's for Chris. Bless your heart, mate. And uh, as I say, we, we listened to uh, a little snatch of George. There's George there. You can look in. There, where's Christopher? There. Christopher. Bless him. And uh, another birthday today, 22nd of May, is Donna Stell. Now, Donna Stell as you may know, had a gorgeous voice for a little chap um, and he produced LPs at the rate of knots. I've got a load of them here, which I love. Uh, I think every single one is signed because he would do that. They're all signed by Don on the back there. But anyway, to celebrate uh, the birth of Don Estelle, do yourself a favour. If you have these, give them a spin. They'll give your heart a lift. Anyway, until tomorrow, enjoy the horror bill tonight and I'll see you next time. Loads of love. Bye for now. Bye.